I prefer running contacts, but sometimes I just need to stop my dog on the contact in order to be able to manage the next sequence. So I do not want to stop the regular two-on-two -two off the way a lot of other people do because my dog is straighter in the front. Not only that, but she's a heavy body compared to a lot of the herding breeds. So if she stopped coming downhill, all that energy is going to go into the joints and stress out the joints. So instead, I'm going to teach her to pull back and sit. That's going to pull her weight back. So it'll take off all the weight from the front end joints. It's also going to get her to shorten her stride when I ask her to sit. So the first step is I need to make sure she will sit every time I stop when we're on the flat. So for the foundation work, all I'm going to do, come here, girlfriend. I'm going to leave her in a stay. Sit, please. Stay. I'm going to go just a little bit ahead of her. And now, Mavi, sit. Whoopsie. So she overshot me, brought her back, asked her to sit. So I ran. When I deceled, I shortened my stride. I threw my shoulders back. This is the first time she's done this on the flat. So she didn't anticipate what I was going to do. So let's try it again. Ready? Come on. Sit. Stay. Sit, please. Stay. Math, math. Sit. Nice. So I want her even with my shoulders. I don't want her to pass up my shoulders. When I do this enough on the flat, she's going to know when I shorten my stride and pull my shoulders back, which I have to do or I'm going to fall on my face if I go from a run to a stop. So when my posture changes that way, I'm stopping and I need her to be able to sit and not pass my shoulders. I'm going to give her the sit cue, but she needs to not go in front of me. Ready? Let's do that one more time. Good girl. Sit, please. Stay. Mav, sit. Yes, nice one. So this is exactly where I want her. Now we'll go ahead and try it on the contact. Okay, I want to. First train a running contact, if that's what I'm going to want to use a lot of the time in the ring. If you train the stop first, what you're going to do is alter that natural stride, and you're not going to be able to get fast speed over. And the name of the game is the fastest dog wins. So you want them to go over the dog walk quickly. So first, I'm just going to let them run across and work on running contacts and if you need to know how to do that i will put a link to my running contact video in the description of this video so first i want a nice fast running contact once i have speed then i'm going to go ahead and work on her sitting on that contact at speed so i'm not going to start at the up ramp and run across i'm going to sequence into this i want speed i want adrenaline i want excitement are we ready Maverick, go. I do, I do, I do. Sit. Oops. So she missed the contact. What I do to fix that, I just turn around, bring her back up, ask her to sit. I stop, but she was ahead of me. But once I say sit, and I think since she's so green at it, I didn't say sit soon enough. I should say it at the top of the ramp. But once I say sit, she should be slamming on the brakes and she should not be passing me up. So let's try that again. Ready? Tunnel, tunnel. Maverick. Ida, Ida, Ida. Sit. Yes! Good girl. Nice job. Nice job. Good girl. Let's do that one more time, okay? Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Maverick. Ida, Ida, Ida. Sit. Oops, we missed, so we're just going to go around and try it again. Sit. Nice. I need to establish once I say sit, I do not want her coming off of that contact. Right? Let's try it again. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Here we go. Maverick. I do, I do, I do. Sit. Yes. And I was watching her instead of the board, so I stopped in the middle of the contact. I really should be stopping at the end of the board, but you see how she stopped up high. Let's try one more time, just make sure 
I can get where I need to be. Ready? Go, girl. Come on. Go, go, go. Maverick. I do, I do, I do. Sit. Yeah. Good. Once my dog has a nice solid stop, now what I can do is give her a quick release. So I'm not going to release her until I see her lean back and shorten her stride. So she doesn't have to sit all the way. But if I actually stop her, that could mean the difference between first and second place, or it may be the difference between qualifying and not qualifying. So I don't want to lose that fraction of a second because I'm extremely competitive. And so what I'll do is I'll see her hit the contact, I'll see her back end go down, her weight shift back, her stride has shortened, and then I'll go ahead and release her to the jump. Maverick, come here. Ready? Tunnel, 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 tunnel. Come here, come here. Go. I die, I die. Sit. Go, go, go. Yeah. Sit.